When I was just a kid, I always loved music. And my older brother, he would just let me listen to his record collection, really got drawn to some of the old Elton John stuff. We had a piano in the house. Well, it turns out that at about the age of six, I sat down and realized I could play simply, but play it. And then I ended up studying with the American Conservatory of Music for eight years. I remember riding my bike through the South Side. The neighborhood was in the shadows of U.S. Steel, the biggest steel manufacturer in the world at the time. In the late 70s, early 80s, that shut down and it devastated the neighborhood. My dad was extremely hardworking, extremely honest and sympathetic. He was known in the neighborhood. I went to clerk for him, and that's when I developed the love for it and realized I wanted to work in a smaller neighborhood type firm, you know, something that really helps the community. I was with him for 12 years, day in, day out. Drive downtown, do two real estate closings, go to court for a divorce case, do another real estate closing, go back to court for a probate hearing. So it was busy, busy. I first met Chris 2014. It was in the title business at the time. He decided, why don't you come work with me? I've worked at other companies where they're not as well an oil machine as Chris's operation. It's really been impressive. We take care of clients from the time they do the estate plan with us until the end of the estate and everything in between. More often than not, I found people come in to do an estate plan. They've thought about it for a long time. You know, you're dealing with your mortality. You're dealing with an uncomfortable thing to talk about. You have to understand what they're going through. You have to be sympathetic to what their situation is. This is real world stuff and it happens. My mother had suffered from congestive heart failure and had had many open heart surgeries. So I kind of helped out, you know, taking her to appointments. She'd have an operation, someone would have to stay with her. My mother during her sicknesses would lay on the couch in the living room and that's where my piano was. And she would say, when I die, I want you to play at my funeral. When it came down to that day, I actually did play that at her funeral. My wife Amanda always said I would be a good caregiver. As an attorney, you gotta be compassionate with people. You want them to walk out where they've got peace of mind, a sense of trust, happy, knowing that things are taken care of. They can put it away, not worry about it.